I can. What do you like about it? Uh, I like a good whale. The new trail. trail. Oh, we're gonna try that one today. Usually, when we first arrive, we sit in our little area here where we have picnic table and some benches, and we spend just a short little bit of time talking about a, a topic right now we're doing birds so we're talking about their nests and the different kinds of birds and if we can hear birds what kind of birds what do we hear chickadees chickadees what else we had heard through a friend that if you put yarn colored yarn down on the ground in the spring that the birds will use that to build as part of their nests so we had done an inquiry into birds and, and their nests and just investigated what their nests are all made out of. We decided, okay, springtime, let's try that. So all the kids put colored pieces of yarn all over the trails and all over the camp. And over a couple of weeks, all the yarn had disappeared. Bird nests are hard to find. So um, anyway, it so happened. We were just lucky, I guess. But the tree that's in the middle of our camp has a nest in it with a blue piece of yarn in it. So it actually happened, we were so happy. <laughs> but it was like about right here, stuck in there. We kind of stuck to the two trails that are close on either side of the road. But we have a third trail that's marked with blue ribbon that goes up on a huge rock there and down the other side. Yeah, that's the castle right there with the moat. I keep looking at it every day. Yeah, we see it lost, but we don't think of it as a castle anymore. Now I'm going to show you my favorite tree. Yeah. Yeah. My tree color. It has red and red is my favorite color. I think you need to have things like the bird feeders we've got up. So really interested in, in the plants the, and little animals and it uh, sparks their interest in math or science. Oh, these are blueberries. Do not step on them. It was one, one late, late fall and there had been no snow. Like it, it was like almost the end of November and no snow. And we were hiking on that trail over there near the castle and somebody saw something white and thought oh it's a garbage bag they just kept watching it and then it started to move so as they got closer it hopped away and it was a white rabbit so we studied rabbits in this area over here we set out our little experiments with grass and seeds and and of course carrots after a little a couple of days we came back to check to see if anything had been eaten we did find out that the seeds were gone, the bagels were gone, but the carrots were still there. <laughs> so we learned that they don't eat carrots. We would find um, rabbits. rabbits and and partridges, squirrels and deers and mice and birds. Wood ticks. And wood ticks. Wood ticks? Yeah. They don't scare you? Those guys do. Of them, they're bad right now. And it's so simple. It's not like extravagant. It's like you could make it state of the art, but it's just, it's a place for kids to come, enjoy, relax, and it's theirs. We can